<laughs> Alan, good to see you. You too. Uh, did you have a big Black Friday? I didn't. No, I I sat around in my home. Mm. Um, I made some eggs and bacon. There you go. And I tried not to look at the internet. And then I had a couple of beers with some friends. Well, that was a very quiet Black Friday. Black Friday and yeah. Cyber Monday. Uh, well, I was in court all day uh, covering uh, a trial. Not, the, the I was not, I was not accused Friday. of a crime. No, I right. how yeah. That goes. yeah, I got <laughs> real there. rowdy over the weekend. <laughs> Uh, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm a bad, I'm a bad uh, economic patriot, Bill. I didn't do any shopping, <laughs> oh, really. Whoa! I, but, well, I bought, but, I bought eggs. Bought eggs. <laughs> but you did point out that a lot of people took advantage of Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. To buy in a very specific purchase. way. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, so there are no statistics on gun purchases. There are no like you know cash register. We we know this many people bought a gun on this day but uh, using the the background checks pings of the FBI, FBI background check oh, database as right. a proxy 203,000 people uh, at a minimum tried to purchase a gun on Black Friday which is the highest uh, single day in the gun industry's history again using this metric that isn't exactly sales but this tops uh, the 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 day in December 20 12 after the Sandy Hook shooting um, a couple couple days or a week after the Sandy Hook shooting which had been a high water mark for a while it's more than double uh, the the Black Friday number from 2008 so like the sort of gun panic about oh, gonna, oh no Barack Obama is going to yeah. come take my yeah. shotgun for some reason um, only stimulated about half as much Black Friday sales uh, and yeah this was a this was a some some clever uh, Bloomberg I think reporters went and figured this out uh, that Places like Cabela's and uh, other outdoor stores had, as part of their doorbusters, you know, the stuff they put in the front of the the, the circular um, oh, to lure yeah. people to come camp out overnight after they've eaten too much turkey. Uh, in some of the doorbusters at some of these stores included, you know, three hundred dollars off a shotgun or a free uh, reflex sight for your handgun or whatever. Uh, what I'm, ama I'm, I'm amazed that like all these stories, right? We've had every year we have the most. Uh, fatal mass shooting in America, right? Sure. And like we we feel like we've come to this point as a country where we're just like, yeah, guns, guns are pretty bad. Oh yeah, unregulated and, guns and are pretty bad. Think, and then like we still just our appetite for guns is just insatiable. Do you think about Black Friday? I mean, you think about I mean, I don't know, Walmart or Macy's or Nordstrom. I mean, sure, the, right. The change, right. you know, Best Buy. That are, yeah, Best Buy, all of them, putting out Shout these out bargains to Best Buy. for people. Uh, buying that, check, that check did clear there you go. yesterday. <laughs> I'm very happy. Uh, buying Christmas presents sure. and shopping for their kids, Toys R Us when they used to exist, all that kind of stuff. You don't think about gun stores, right? Right, right. But, yeah, but and, and they're, they're taking advantage of it, too. Obviously. Well, and, and, the, and the other part More of the backstory here, if you, if you go back to like where the term Black Friday, the nickname Black Friday comes from, it's, it was an old, an old retail term for the day in the calendar when finally, after being in the red all year, Year as a store, mm. um, you do enough numbers on this Friday after Thanksgiving, this big shopping day, that you're in the black for the year. Um, that's where the the name comes from. Uh, creepy as it sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But so apply that then to the gun industry, which has been, as we've been talking about here, a robust oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. sales sales sector for a long time because of America's appetite for firearms. The the idea that they needed this kind of huge day this year is really interesting. It, it suggests that um, because we haven't we haven't seen spikes in sales after the Las Vegas shooting or after uh, the Sutherland Springs uh, massacre uh, or any of the other high profile domestic uh, assaults and and mass death gun incidents this year in the way that traditionally you do. Right. Suggest that on some level people aren't worried with the Republican Congress and Donald Trump in the White House aren't worried about new gun control. The one thing that did have a huge rush of sales apparently after Vegas was uh, bump stocks, the, yeah, these gun right. modifications that let you turn a semi-auto into basically an automatic. Uh, but the the gun industry's been sort of floundering. I mean, like every other sector of American capitalism at this point, it's not enough to just do the same level of business you did last year. Everybody's got to be growing, growing, growing all the time or uh, their their shareholders get very upset. So the gun industry has been failing to do a tidy business after a bunch of people get shot, which is part of their business model. That's part of why you're seeing the NRA get so aggressively um, propagandistic in its public facing uh, advertising. They're, they're putting Dana Lash on your screen all the time, Ugh. warning you about the looming race war, effectively. Um, there's there's a them who are trying to take away our country 
um, and, you know, disrespect our troops and our soldiers and light cars on fire mm -hmm. and whatever, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. Uh, and, and the thing you should do about that is go buy more guns. Right. That's that's the sign to me the, of a flailing industry, yeah, of, a, yeah. of a frightened industry, of an industry that's right. looking at its bottom line. And for the first time in probably many a year, actually having that classic retail experience of as Thanksgiving comes going, boy, I hope people show up at 3 a.m. on Friday because we need this. Yeah, right.